Well, it is very obvious to us, and it has been confirmed by Mr. Hoodness, that he knew about the issues related to Roy Reed long before they became public. And I think it's very important for him to tell the public exactly when he found out that Royal Reed was the subject of an investigation and the nature of the investigation that commenced uh, um, against Mr. Reed. He acted only after the opposition leader raised the matter in the public at a press conference. And what he said today is confirmation of what we knew. So instead of trying to behave as if he acted quickly, he must tell the country when he found out and what he did when he found out. In the two instances where ministers have resigned, it has taken, in the first instance with Andrew Wheatley, significant public pressure for the Prime Minister to act. And in this case, if the opposition didn't raise the issue in the public domain, I don't believe that the Prime Minister would have acted at all. We are seeing more corruption in this administration. We, we have unresolved issues from the Integrity Commission related to Petrojam, related to NESA, related to the Universal Service Fund, under his watch, this, the $800 million B. Bush in scandal. And in every one of these cases, it is public pressure that has forced the Prime Minister to act. And I believe that the level of corruption that has happened under this administration in the four years from a Prime Minister who indicated at his swearing in that if there was a sniff of corruption, he would act. It has been unprecedented corruption. And we are every day we hear of new cases that are emerging now. So really, you know, for us, it's an indictment that the Prime Minister is trying to give the impression that he has been proactive when the evidence is really that he has reacted and only done so when public pressure has forced him to do.